In this lesson, we are going to further refine the twinkle variation A. Um, and in order to do that, I need to explain to you how to play with a heavy bow. So we're going to talk a little bit about bow weight. And I'm going to show you how to combine a heavy bow with the right amount of bow speed. There's a little ratio that you've got to kind of find the magic combination between bow weight and bow speed and then I'm um, going to teach you how to use uh, friction or to put a little bit of grit in your playing and finally we will learn how to make a clean, nice clean stop with our bow without crunching and uh, without making it too fluffy. That was the first thing, bow weight and that takes a little bit of work and awareness. Um, so let's just try the variation A rhythm on open A with a nice heavy bow arm. Okay, get on your tape right in the middle of the bow. Find the square, your, your arm square. Make sure your bow is straight. Okay, and when I say go, we're just going to do a couple of variation A strokes with our heavy relaxed bow arm. Okay, one, two, ready. Go. Okay, do that a few times. Ooh, that sounded even better because before I had slipped off of my sounding point. When I fixed it, suddenly it was clearer. So all these little things are going to make your sound more professional, more focused, more full, more beautiful. Um, so that's heavy bow. Now, close second to heavy bow, or in conjunction with your heavy bow, you need to choose your bow speed. Most people, when they do a heavy bow, they constrict their bow and they use teeny tiny bows, and that's not good at all. That sounds just like a beginner's tone, like we think a beginner, most beginners sound. If you don't want to sound like a beginner, you want to max out how much bow you can use and still have good bow weight and good contact with the string. If you use too much bow, you're going to start to skid and you're going to lose contact with the string. I'll show you what too much bow sounds like. You hear how it's just scraping the string? It's really a, not a nice sound. So, but you don't want to use too little of bows, so experiment and use, you know, about this much bow for variation A. That's a ballpark estimate, okay? So, let's try that and focus on heavy bow and plenty of bow. One, two, ready, go. starting from your square and that you're using your greasy elbow and that your bow is traveling parallel to the bridge. And we're going to just do this on open A, so you don't need to worry about your left hand at all. You can hang out up here on the purfling. And let's try that. We're going to go just a tad bit slower than what we were doing on our arm. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Try it with pizza popcorn. Ready? Go. Okay, now check out, do this again with me, and check out if your bow is heavy or if it's being wimpy. And make sure that you're using at least five inches of bow, preferably six or seven or eight. Okay, let's try that. Make sure that your arm feels heavy on the violin. If you get a nice, nasty crunch, it means you're doing a good job of adding your bow weight. It's easy to get rid of the crunch. It's hard to learn to play with bow weight. So you've got to kind of take risks here and there, okay?